detection and decision boundary example. Suppose that probability of x given event e1 is Gaussian distributed or normally distributed with mean of 1 and variance of 4. And the probability of x given event e2 is also Gaussian distributed but with mean of 2 and variance of 1. Assume equal priors, which means uh, uh, p of e1 is equal to p of e2. Drive decision boundaries, plot the likelihoods, and show the decision regions on your plot. So uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, we have to compare the likelihood of uh, p of x and event e1 versus the likelihood of p of x and event e2. Using conditional probability, this means p of x even event e1 times probability of event e1 compared with probability of x given event e2 times event e2. Given the equal priors, we can cancel out these two from both sides. And we can say then uh, for the re remainder, we can use the given Gaussian probability of distributions. So we can have uh, 1 over sigma 1 uh, square root of 2 pi uh, exp of minus 1 over 2 sigma 1 square x minus mu 1 squared. That's for the first one. Uh, compared with um, 1 over sigma 2 square root of 2 pi exp of minus 1 over 2 sigma square x minus mu 2 squared. So these are just the standard definition of uh, Gaussian distribution. Now from both sides we can get rid of this. For sigma 1 from here we have 2. So it's 1 over 2 exp of. So sigma 1 is 2 therefore 2 times sigma 1 squared is 8. And x minus mu 1 is 1 versus sigma 2 is 1 so it's just exp of minus 1 over uh, sigma 2 is 1 so just and mean is 2 so x, x minus 2 squared this is the comparison now uh, we can take ln from both sides so we get uh, ln of 1 over 2 which is minus ln 2 uh, ln of this is just the exponent so it's going to be minus 1 over 8 x minus 1 squared compared with uh, ln of this is just the exponent minus 1 over 2 x minus 2 squared we can multiply both sides with um, um, let's say uh, minus 8 so we get um, well, plus 8 we get and then we can move this to the other side so we get 4 times x minus 2 squared uh, minus x minus 1 squared minus 8 ln 2 compared with 0. If the result is greater than 0 then the decision is e1 if the result is less than 0 then the decision would be e2. Simplifying this further we get 4x2 minus 16x plus 16 that's for the first component this becomes minus x2 plus 2x minus 1 minus 8 ln 2 compared with 0. Further simplifying 3x2 minus 14x uh, plus 15 minus 8 ln 2 compared with 0. Um, this is a second order equation roots of this uh, are if you set this equal to 0 are 0 0.82 and um, 3.84 so it basically means any for any x in between these two the sign of this would be negative of the sign of x squared which is this guy's positive so when x is in between these two values the, the sign of this whole thing would be a negative number and hence we will decide e2 otherwise we decide e1 so if um, we 
show the probability if this is x-axis, then um, what we have is what we care about the mean of 1 and the mean of 2. So for the first one, let's say we have, um, uh, just for the sake of illustration, let's say we have uh, negative 1, uh, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, and plus 4. So basically it means uh, we have a normal distribution around 1 for this thing and sigma of 2 and another normal distribution around 2 with smaller sigma. So the second distribution is narrower than the first distribution which is much, much wider. Effectively what we have is something like this. Um, so let's say at 3.84 these two uh, intersect. So probably we have something like this. And um, for the first guy, we have something like this. Um, so let's say it, they're crossing each other at um, 0.82. So um, maybe I can show it this way. Very slow drop because of um, larger standard deviation for this guy. So it would be something like this for the other distribution. So they are crossing each others at these two points. This is corresponding to uh, 0.82 and this is corresponding to 3.84. Uh, the decision region would be these two regions. For any x in between these two values, as we discussed, the decision is, since the sign of this would be negative, the decision is E2 even 2. And for any x out of this region, the decision is E1 as is the result from this likelihood comparison with 0. So that's the final answer.